In 2400 BC, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, known case of prostitution was discovered in southern Mesopotamia. The earliest known civilization to live there, being the Sumerians, had words such as muniskin, meaning a female worker, servant, or slave, and karkid, or karak, meaning professional or doing something for a living. So, is there any reason why I'm telling you this? No. No, no, there's, there's not really a reason. <laughs> but I guess you could say that sex sells. Oh, I got you. I got it. Were you a good boy for mommy ASMR roleplay? So, I'm a young adult, being 21 years old now. And I don't know if it's always been this bad, or I've just not noticed until now. But like, what the fuck is with these hella degenerate thirst trap advertising campaigns I've been seeing everywhere? For those that don't know, thirst trap is a slang for like social media posts, advertisements, or basically anything that is intended to attract sexual attention or positive feedback. I know that for the longest time, sex has been a big driving force in like selling things and in advertisements. Doing a pinup of a hot lady or guy in a swimming outfit and stuff, you know, it just gets people run into the stores to buy your pack of beer or something. <laughs> I just find it weird that we are so enticed to buy things just based off of, like, the concept of attractiveness. It's definitely, like, a human thing. That's just how we're programmed, I suppose. But my problem with it is I just don't like how broad it's gotten. Sexual ads have just been regularly shown and promoted to everyone, of all age groups, even kids, which I find that very questionable, especially in the internet space, which is what I wanted to talk about and all this absurdity that's going on. So I'm a, I'm a long time user of YouTube, which I guess isn't saying much, but I've been personally using YouTube since 2007. But I feel like more than ever, advertisements have just changed from what they used to be since that time. I remember seeing ads like, Wow, you're like our one millionth visitor! Please click here to get a free reward or something. Or, you know, actual genuine ads that try to promote something. And on the internet, it was never like, as far as I remember, primarily about sex unless you went onto a sketchy website. But now since YouTube is like so prominent and Google, is so prominent on the internet, which granted, it has been for a while, but especially now. I feel like the quality and like purpose of the ad should be maintained better. Because for these ads, I don't really feel like they're genuinely trying to sell me a product. They're just trying to bait me in with something that gets my rocks off or whatever. I think it's important to preference that I'm not against almost all of the interests that these ads show. Again, almost, because there's some that are just ugh. You know, I've been using the internet for almost my entire life, so I'm a degenerate too. And some of this stuff might appeal to me, some of it won't. But I don't really think that's a fair reason for me to be okay with it. Especially on a platform like YouTube, where it's become very restrictive of talking about sexual things. Even if it seems like they're, like, open to it. Like, if you, if you say something that triggers that bot in the first few seconds of a video, you know, they don't like that. But what doesn't take a few seconds to not see is an advertisement, because it's force-fed to you. Like, little Timmy, who's like five years old, can go on the internet and see these very suggestive images, and it doesn't make me feel comfortable that it's being advertised to, like, children, or to a broad audience, when this stuff should be in a niche area, not on an ad, probably. But also, personally, if I was going to see ads at all, which again, you know, we're talking about ads, not many people like seeing ads. But if I was to see them, I'd like them to be, you know, like informative, creative, you know, actually interesting and telling me about the product, not just jerk off material. And like some of the stuff I get in ads is just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I've moved over to a live recording now. <laughs> So I have a collection of images I've taken, some very recently, some I've taken in the past, but I assure you that these can be seen all the time. And before I show these, no, these aren't just Google recommending me ads based off things I've searched. I've done this stuff before in a fresh install where I'm not logged into anything, I have no telemetry data or whatever. 
And I've also tried it in an incog window on my phone to see if I see anything different. And I assure you that regardless of what I do to hide myself, it still just shows these ads everywhere. So with that, let's uh, let's take a look at these fucking things I found. Okay, so for starters, we've got AI art generator. Dolly AI artist. What style of girls do you want? I don't know why there's like a closed captioning, but yeah, this is definitely weird. Whenever I see AI art like this, I just think it looks like a Barbie doll. I mean, like, look here. This is like a fucking plastic ass. I don't know what these are supposed to be. Like, what the, f what the fuck is this? But there's also another one of that same set, but like framed differently. And yeah, I mean, come on, man. Some people could be like that this is just normal, but the, the thing is you have to differentiate it for AI. When it gets involved with AI and they're suggesting stuff like, what style of girl do you want? Like you, you know where it's going, right? Next, I've got the uh, the furry collection. Apparently, this is for a mobile game called Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. And oh boy, like, whoo, whoo, mama. And you see, now I'm going to look up like gameplay of the game and it's going to be absolutely nothing like this. Damn, guys. Holy shit. It just looks like it's trying to be Raid Shadow Legends and it's an idol game. Why is Punish? Wait, why is Punish okay? <laughs> what? Do you really think you could convince me with that? <laughs> okay, I take it back. Maybe this entire game's fucking degenerate. But I don't see any hot wolf, babe. Not only have I seen like an ad like this once, but I've seen this one too. I, I was watching a cat video. <laughs> but yeah, whoa, look at their stats. Oh my gosh, I gotta play this game to get this cute fox dog thing. Come on, bloodline. <laughs> see, this is the one that really set this off for me. This is like, the shit I hate. First off, without reading this fucking cringe sentence, there's a fucking Homer Simpson image. And this is an ad, by the way. Anyways, there's no way they're allowing them to have this image on text that says, how I sleep knowing I have replica AI with whom I can NSFW roleplay and get hot pics anytime. And she's never going to leave me. <laughs> like these AI things, they all do this shit. It's not about like the use of like having an AI create like a landscape for you or something. No, it's all about making hot babes so I can whack off. One girl, dark skin, sportswear, thigh strap. Yo, looks like this. This doesn't even look real. If it's supposed to look like this person, this isn't a person. This is art. Free to trial this AI girlfriend generator. Create your dream girl with look-alike features. Yo, no way. Look-alike feature? That means somebody's like out there getting fucking Pokebane or something. Or Amaranth and putting it in here. It's like, yo, my AI babe. Uh, bend over for me. This is an ad. I just saw this and I thought it was funny and on topic. <laughs> this just isn't cool, bro. This is so weird. This shouldn't be on fucking... YouTube. It's this girl chained up. Well, okay, you know what? I look at this chain, but is she really chained up? Like, her hand doesn't even fucking fit around it. You can just get out. But I see this and it's like, oh, you've got this poor locked up girl that's struggling for help. Anime style mobile game with extra benefits. This, this is fucking weird. True love makes you stronger. This is true love? This is not true love! <laughs> And again, it's another fucking mobile game that's I don't even have to check. It. It's just going to be a gotcha idol game. And I, I, it's all Google's fault that they allow shit like this. Like, if you want to have the game have that, sure. But like, the, it shouldn't be advertised like this. You should advertise the game's features or something. Or at least make it like age appropriate rating. This isn't OK to show kids. This is fuck. <laughs> this one's just so funny. It, it has no logic to it. It's just this guy's face and a heart. You can't even tell what's going on in the background. I guess it's because it's a video, so 
there's stuff in there to see, but like this guy who has edited blush and heart game for naughty people. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for a taste of the new waifus? What do you mean by that? Again, like this is like a Pokemon thing. Seven mortal sins. Ex ecstasy? Oh my god! <laughs> so it's like fucking it's trying to be it's trying to get the crowd from the seven deadly sins enemy, maybe? But with more sex appeal? I don't even know if there's sex appeal in that. I mean, I guess it's anime, so. But, like, it's like Pokemon, so as they level up, they evolve. But, you know, going from level 30 and then just to level 100 and they fucking strip naked, their clothes don't fit. Warning! Fucking tits and pussy flying out. Japan's hottest IP to mobile RPG. And it's fucking named. It has ecstasy in the name. This is so cringe. <laughs> so fucking bad. <laughs> And then the one that I have last, the one that I'm actually censoring because even though it doesn't show anything like kind of graphic, it's just weird. It's so weird. This is apparently hilarious comics for parents. So what's happening in the image is they're, you know, they're at a clothes place. They're trying on clothes and the father and daughter are trying to put on stuff that doesn't seem to fit them well. But I find it very weird that this is like, you know, father and daughter and like she's putting on this clothes and she's got like mega fucking fat rolls. And it's just this scene. This is disturbing. Like maybe this is a hilarious comic for parents, but the art is disturbing. I don't know how else to describe it. You, you'd have to see this yourself. I'm shocked that something like this is being advertised on YouTube. It just looks like really sketchy not cool like porn but yeah that's basically it and it's like so bad i i don't like thirst trap advertising in a world where we're force-fed advertisements like all the time and it just keeps getting worse and worse i want an ad about the product not about what's gonna make me come <laughs> and i i can't believe it's advertisements too that i'm like complaining about I don't know, man. I just, there's a lot of advertisements I remember growing up, or at least like have memories of, and they were funny or interesting about a product. But like when we get to the internet space, it's all about like sex appeal. I guess I want your guys' opinion on this because I feel like I'm just rambling on about some nonsense, which I am, but I just want to know if this stuff makes others uncomfortable and if you like being fed ads like this as compared to it, like a traditional ad. I don't know. The world's dumb and horny and needs to see a therapist like me. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> uh...